everybody, I'm Natalia Bonner. It's day 94. Can you believe we've already made it this far? I'm having so much fun. I hope you all are having as much fun as I am. Today I'm going to be stitching with my 4-in-1 machine quilting ruler. I love this ruler. This is the first ruler that I designed and it's a really great versatile ruler that you can use large curves, two smaller curves, or a straight line. So a really great ruler to use in a lot of different places. I do have a companion ruler called the Inside Out Ruler. We won't be using it today, but it is a great companion. Obviously, you can see it matches. It's a companion, <laughs> um, but they do work really well together. We will, however, just be using the 4-in-1 Machine Quilting Ruler in today's video. Before we get to the quilting, though, I do want to let you know that in this particular quilt, I'm using one layer of the Quilter String Poly Deluxe Padding. I wanted to use this one. It's a little bit lower loft, but it still has enough loft to it that gives me some really great texture with my machine quilting. If you know me, you know that I'm all about texture. I love seeing dimension and texture in my machine quilting. So that's what I'm using today. In the meantime though, let's get stitching. I'll begin by using my blue Mark V1 marker and along the bottom side of my triangle, I'm going to mark an increment that's two inches from the outside of the triangle on both sides. Then I will also mark a straight line through the center of the block from the bottom to the top. Then along the two sides of the triangle, I'm also going to mark a point that's two inches from the bottom there. Now I'll begin stitching. I'll begin stitching near the bottom of the block. I'll stitch to the first marked point. From there, I'll stitch up a diagonal line up to the side. I'll travel down along the ditch a half an inch and stitch a second parallel diagonal line a half an inch below the first one, lining up the machine quilting ruler so that it's right on top of my previous stitch line. I'll repeat that process on the opposite side of the block so that I've got two straight lines on both sides of the block. From there, I am going to travel at this point and stitch in the ditch around the outside of the block. Traveling back to that first marked point along the bottom of the block. When I reach that point, I'm going to stitch a diagonal line that's parallel to the outside of the triangle up to that marked line. Then when I get to the marked line, I'll stop, adjust my ruler, and stitch a second parallel line that's parallel to the opposite side of the block. After I stitch that line, I'm going to move in a half an inch, repeating this process, stitching a smaller triangle on the inside of that larger first triangle. From there, I'll spritz away those marked lines and enjoy this beautiful design. friends i hope you enjoyed today's vlog and found a little bit of inspiration with my machine quilting now just remember you can pick up the panel the rulers the thread all of the notions that i'm using in this video today over on my website peaceandquilt.com and don't forget to share your progress pictures over on instagram using the hashtag let's stitch with natalia that's where we will be selecting winners for weekly prizes see you all tomorrow Thank you.